Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the HipKit Club Design team. My mission was to include stars and strips of paper with a cut file. So I cut this hello button with my silhouette cameo in two copies because I don't know which one to choose yet. For the paper stripes, I will use this uh, paper which already has strips just perfect for the steam and I uh, cut two stars which will serve as a support. To start, I cut the strips of the printed paper of uh, Pink Fresh Studio from the Happy Bloomy collection which is part of the June 2021 main kit. I will be using all the color behinds, expect the pink behinds for my layout. This will be my first layout with this kit which is just gorgeous with a lot of exclusivity created by Kim and Kimberly named Delectful. Once I cut all the strips of paper, I recut the winder once to have roughly the same strip width. And already a color combo appears which will help me for the rest of my layouts. Then I distress the edges of each strip. It's quite long, but I like the tattered rendering it brings. I decide to add a strip of black paper to add contrast so I cut the strips from the printed paper from the exclusive delightful collection by Kim and Kimberly which is just superb. I love it. I move on to the assembly of my stars. So I glue the strips of paper on the stars by alternating the colors and weights of the strips for a more unstructured rendering. The stars measures approximately 7 inch if I'm correct. I cut them with my silhouette cameo which is faster than uh, tracing and cutting them by hand. Um, to distress the edges of the black paper strips, I use my uh, scissors because they are too thin and with my um, paper distresser this is not possible. Moreover, if you don't have a paper distresser, the scissor is a way to replace it. It works very well. When the star is covered, I cut the strips of paper that protrude from each side which allows to have very clean edges and it's also faster than having measured each strip before gluing them. Then I distress the edges of the star and I do the same for the other star. I then sew some zigzag on the sewing machine with black thread here and there to add texture. I really like the worn effect of their 
two stars, that's what I wanted. I continue with the background of my page. I cut a white cardstock with clear gesso before adding the inks. Before adding the inks, I use a star stamp to add some more star. So I apply the pattern with Versamark watermark stamp pad around the location of my paper stars. I don't hesitate to print the pattern several times. It's a stamp from my uh, reserve and the brand is Swill Cards. It's a French brand. Then I pour Ranger embossing powder clear over the prints. I remove the excess powder by padding the paper and with my head gun I hit the powder so that it welts and the patterns appear. I can add the inks on top. I use the Distress Oxid Mustard Seed ink that I mix with the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse Lemon Sorbet from the June 2021 color kit to intensify the yellow more. I add water to make the mixture more liquid and make it easier to apply. With a piece of rhodoid, I apply this ink mixture on my starry background. The color is just gorgeous and very shiny. This mousse is really great for adding texture and shine. With a wet brush, I spread the ink and the, the embossed star appear distinctly. I love this very simple technique that brings texture and detail. This technique is just beautiful with floral designs. I keep sp spreading the ink with my wet brush until I get the perfect area. I then dry everything and add ton on ton ink splatters. And I also add splashes of gesso diluted with water for more light. And here's the result. I love this shine yellow and these little stars that stand out from this background. I then move on to the layout. I use tracing paper that I crumple to add it under the paper stars and thus create a blurred uh, outline so that they better distinguish the um, outlines of the background. I use adhesive tape uh, to glue the tracing paper. This is faster because the glue tends to take a long time to dry with the tracing paper. I do the same with my two photos. Then I add cardboard under the stars to that I can then glue them by creating value.
So I continue with the photos and I add pieces of blue card from the June 2021 Pocket Life kit below the two photos after distressing the edges. I glue the photos by overlapping them a little. Then I add three deform below on one side to equalize the height before gluing them in the center of the stars as you. I then glue the stars on the yellow starry background as Q2. I selected several different embellishments keeping the same color combo as the stars. I place die cuts and puffy cloud stickers, sun die cut, puffy stickers and die cut sword on the photos on each side round chipboard too. I cut the white outlines of the clouds and I distress the edges. I do the same with die cuts world my favorite. These are exclusive die cuts from the June 2021 main kit. So I glue the clouds and I double them by adding small cloud puffy stickers. I like to double the embellishment like that. With the blue puffy alphabet from June 2021 Pocket Life Kit and the yellow puffy alphabet from June 2021 Main Kit, I created the title My Little Star completed with the cut file Hello. The title matches the layout well. I then glue all the embellishments. So I decided to tint the cut file very lightly with the nouveau embellishment mousse. I take a little mousse from the pot with a water brush pen and I apply the mousse to the pattern. 
making a very subtle gradient. I darken the shade by adding more mousse at the top and bottom of the pattern. I cut this pattern of watercolor paper so I could add ink. I prefer this paper for this kind of thing. The pattern measures approximately 8 inch. When I have dried the pattern, well, I glue it on my layout after adding 3D foam on the letter H and O to equalize the level when glued. I then add clear stickers for these from the June 2021 embellishment kit, another exclusive created by Kim and Kimberly. I love this kind of sticker which gives the illusion of a stamp. So I glue the title by following the inclination of the word hello. I love to mix several alphabet to create a title. I find it more fun. So I add some strips of paper that I had left at the bottom of my page to fill the gap and to make a little reminder with the stars. So I glue the strips of paper by alternating colors and widths.
I then cut what's protruding from my page and I distress the edges. I sewed zigzag with black thread here and there like the stars. I add a clear sticker phrase on the right, then I add the phrase Love you dude with the same alphabets as the main title. It fills the void there was here. I add some puffy stickers hurts near the title and I finish with splashes of black paint diluted with water to harmonize everything and bring more contrast. I hope this water masculine layout has given you some ideas for a future project. I love making it and I love how it turned out. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a very nice creative day. See you soon.